Um, during Easter that that week, Monday, then Friday, when uh, in the morning I was going to the market to buy food, and as I was moving, a car was passing by. I thought maybe it was going to park or it was passing by, but there were robbers, so I was kidnapped. Yeah, they put me in their car and they took me that morning. So I, tr- I tried to save my life, but I couldn't because nobody saw what was happening. I was in the car. I tried to scream, but they held my mouth. And in the process, they were beating me up. And I was almost ripped. I, I didn't have anything to do by then because nobody could help me by that time. I just kept on praying, praying, praying. So they took me up to those ends of um, industrial area. So the driver maybe I don't know how God did it, but they were almost going to rape me because they had undressed my shirt, and it was left with a downer part. But then the driver was like, "Let's stop. Just pray to God that no car was passing by, no no motorcycle." And I was just I don't know. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I stood there for almost one hour because I didn't know what else I could do. Then, thank God, I saw some guy, border border guy. He stays near our home. He helped me, dropped me near home, so I went home, but I was just crying because I survived a lot. My mom was very, I don't know, she was very confused because it was morning that I left home, but I came back at around four, and she was wondering what's happening. Because she tried calling my phone, it was off because it was taken. So everyone was just confused and I just prayed to God that I'm still alive. <laughs> Another thing is I, I'm just scared of moving alone. Because whenever I move alone, I just imagine them robbing me again. So I just thank God for my life. That's all.